What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Outsiders and let me tell you, you're absolutely not going to want to miss this video. This is by far one of the most bizarre steelhead slash salmon fishing trips we ever had. So before we get fishing, don't forget to check out The Outsider Shop. We got the custom bobber beanie right here and we're currently wearing the Laker Splash. Got the little front patch here and we got the back too. Yeah, though, here we go. Pretty epic little design right there. So. If you haven't checked it out, check the outsider shop down in the description and without further ado, let's get fishing. <coughs> I think we got a fish on there guys. Got a little something. Dad. Alright, first fish of the day on right here. I'm thinking it might be a freaking little walleye because it's not giving much head shakes. And the fact that we're using a swim jig right now. And we hit him. Oh yeah, that's a nice walleye right there. Hopefully you guys can see it because it is not much sunlight out here. Well here, you could just net it right now. What is it, small one? Oh, wow. that's a nice walleye. Yeah, nice little walleye. Alright, there we go guys. First fish on of the day. We'll take that man. That might be a keeper walleye, but we're not keeping them currently. But I'll, I'll give them a nice hold up for you. All right, guys, nice little walleye right there. We're after some steelhead and salmon today. I figure I use a swim jig because the, there's no current really. I send them off right there. Nice looking fish. First fish of the day. Like I said, we were after some salmon and some steelhead, but there's no, there's really no current here. So I figured we give it a couple. Maybe like an hour with this swim jig and if the turbine doesn't kick on and the current doesn't come Maybe we'll have to hit up the shore. So I guess we'll see what the, the rest of the day has to hold All right guys all that one came on a little three inch swim bait With a crackhead blades and jigs jig head on there three-eighths of an ounce and all I was doing Casting it as far as I can out there Let it sink maybe around seven eight seconds Flip the bale and then just start slowly jigging it in. And that's how that one wall I hit. So we're gonna keep on doing this and we'll see if we get any more hits. There we go. Fish on. This one hit real close to shore, guys. Thinking it might be another walleye by the way it's fighting. Oh yeah, it feels like a decent one too. So far, oh yeah, that, that's comparable to the last one, I'd say. Yeah, another nice walleye. Too bad we're not keeping them today. I think this one is actually a little too small to be a keeper anyways. If you can see him flashing in the water right there. Nice little guy. Yeah, another walleye. Looks a little small to be a keeper, but we're not keeping them anyways. <laughs> There you go. Very nice one. Again, once again, not the target species, but hey, we'll hold them up for you. Not bad for a half hour. It seems like this tip here, we're catching the wall. A guy behind you just caught one too. 
When the current's not on, what the hell, right? A little of that. Oh, nice. Man, he, he really try to eat that son of a gun. I know the limit down here is 18 inches. This one might be close, but close, yeah. we'll send him back. We're not keeping him. There he goes. Nice walleye. Number two on the day. I say they probably came within 10 minutes of each other. And they usually like to hit before the sun comes up. So I think we've got a little more time to get on the walleye. And if this current, like I said, if it doesn't switch it up again, we might have to hit the shore. So let's go try to get another walleye. Got our third fish on of the day right here. I'm guessing it's going to be another walleye. But let's see if it's going to be any bigger than the last two. Uh, I think this might be the smallest one of the day, actually. Hey, but we'll take that. We'll take it. There we go. Third walleye of the day, man. This might be transforming into a little freaking walleye episode right here. Getting back in there for next year, right? All right, check that one out. Definitely the smallest walleye of the day, but hopefully we can work our way up in size of the walleye. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to land any trout or salmon today, but this one actually came on a slow, slow retrieve too. The other ones, I was just jigging them in off the bottom. And then I just decided to switch up the techniques a little. I cast it out, let it sink into the slow retrieve. And this one hit right at shore too. It's surprising because they're usually deep out. So I'm gonna get out there, see what else we can catch. All right guys, did not realize I just had my GoPro on. I just turned it off as I set the hook. We appear to have another little walleye. I don't believe I'm gonna need the net for this one. So I'm gonna go for the massive flip up here. All right. Man, dude, usually we work our way up in size, but today we've been freaking working our way down. Not even gonna bother pulling out the big camera for this one, but this one would be a nice sandwich, but of course, it's not the right size. All right, just showed it to my dad for the release. Nice. And that one came just on a little slow retrieve again, real close to shore. It seems like the two bigger ones I hit earlier in this morning came far out on the bottom and the two smaller ones I just caught came on the slow retrieve close to shore so might have to send this one way out there to get a big old walleye and one time earlier this morning I did see a salmon jump right in front of me but I don't know if he's just gonna hit this swim jig but we're gonna keep on fishing and see if we catch any more fish there we go we got something on right there Oh, my dad doesn't see me, but looks like we got a nice walleye on. I'm, well, I'm assuming it's a walleye since all we've been catching is walleye from here. We're definitely gonna need the net on this one. Damn, he's, he's, whoa. No, it's actually a little smallmouth bass, dude. No wonder he was fighting so good. Oh yeah. Whoa. Well, looks like my dad's not paying attention to me, but. I got a nice smallmouth bass on. I'm gonna try to flip him up here real quick. Yeah, I guess we'll give it a shot. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, nice one right there. Right there. Nice little bass. Send him off. There we go. Nice. There we go, guys. Nice fish on right there, dude. This seems to, this appears to be a real nice one. Holy smokes. I hooked, I hooked into something nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, this is, this is huge. This is huge, whatever it is, guys. Oh yeah, I hooked up on something real nice here. I just want to get a nice look at it, whatever it is. Oh, it's pulling drag too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
This looks pretty substantial, dude. Oh, that's a fish. Let's go. <laughs> okay, Noah. All the guys are saying he's got something on there big. Oh, yeah. Back up in the I want to get landed for you. The water level's coming up good. There's a nice drift now, Noah. Oh, you got it on the thing. I won't be able to. Is that a walleye? What? I'm a monster walleye. A catfish. Listen, well, tell, catfish. Me, tell me when you want to get there, bud. Here, you can let it down. Okay. Oh, dude, I was. How the heck did I catch a freaking catfish out of here, dude? Holy smokes. Ready? Holy smokes. Nice I was thinking it was a steelhead or something by the way it was fighting. Here, go, go, go. Lift up, lift up. Lift up, lift up. Lift up, Dad. You got it. Yeah, yeah, just lift it up. Just like a fire pole. There you go. But dude, what the heck? I ain't never seen a catfish out of here before. That's a freaking nice channel cat, too. Holy smokes. Let's freaking hold him up for you. That's a big one, dude. Bigger than the one you caught at the creek. How do you hold him? Just put your finger in your mouth? Yeah, he, he's... Probably uh, hurt. That's a I'm like, if you're going to release him, don't get him by the gills. Because at this thing, it hurts yeah. the fish. Yeah. Thank you very much. Look at that. Holy smokes. Guys, check that out right there. Oh! Ah! You don't want to stick oh, around. Oh, he got me good. He got me real good. I never caught a catfish, a catfish out of here before, so this is the first. I'm really excited I caught it. Pretty hefty one too. I say close to 10 pounds. Get him in the yeah, net. I'd say so. Get him in the net and we'll release him down here. Oh, good job, bud. Yeah. The water level's coming up nice. Yeah. Push the damn turbines are going. Huh? No. It's cold here. Sam. There he goes, man. Where'd he go, man? All right, guys, I was absolutely not expecting that. Out here, like I've said multiple times already today, for steelhead and salmon, I thought that was gonna be a, either a lake, honestly, I thought it was gonna be a lake trout because we caught him on the little three inch swim base before. And this one, he was just staying down, giving me some nice, hefty head shakes and got him closer to the surface. And boom, it was a freaking catfish. He got me pretty good too right there. Oh, he did, man. Yeah, wow. dude, they got a strong bite. I'll tell you that much. So it looks like this corner is hot right here on the swim jig. That's all I've been catching them on uh, down here. The crackhead jig and blades. Jig head, 3 eighths of an ounce. And then a little uh, three inch swim bait. The water level rose up. And I've been hitting the bass ever since then. So let's see what else we can make happen out here. Nice, nice fish. Good job. All right, another nice walleye on right here. This one might be a keeper, it looks like. Yeah, I've been catching it on the same thing the entire day. It might be a keeper, it might. I got my tape measure. All right, guys, there we go. Nice walleye right here. This is my fifth walleye of the day, actually. Surprised we haven't caught any steelhead yet, but it's like the walleye bite was on today. Someone down here wants it, so we're gonna give it to them. They gotta be 18 inches, and this one was 19, so nice fish. Let's get out there and try to catch some more. Sean right here. Wasn't recording the bite on this one, but looks like another nice little walleye. Might have to try to flip this one up as well. Um, I guess not. <laughs> All right, freaking six walleye on the day too. Dang. Get a load of that, guys. Absolute perfect hook set right there. I'll hook him. There we 
there we go. Nice little walleye right there. Definitely not a keeper, so I'm gonna throw him back. See you later, Mr. Walleye. It looks like we got another walleye on right here. A decent sized one, definitely not a small one, but I'm gonna try to land them and hold them up for you again. This would be number seven if I can land them. Thanks. Yep. How many, Noah? I think it's seven. This one's my seventh walleye of the day, actually. They're munching the jigs today. I'm surprised they're hitting this late in the morning, this late in the day. But Dude, I haven't seen a jig this much in a long time, and you're nailing them all day. So, go all right. Good job, Noah. There he goes. See you later, walleye. <laughs> all right, guys. That's the, I think the seventh walleye of the day. We got one smallmouth bass. And then that giant catfish, which was by far my favorite catch of the day. So. No steelhead, we did see two hooks and one landed here, but the steelhead bites are very far and a few in between, so I'm just keep on jigging with my little crackhead jigging lure jig head, my swim bait, I keep on there. So that's what I'm gonna continue to do this whole day. Probably not end up not gonna go to the shore because fishing here is pretty hot. So let's keep on fishing and see if it's anymore. On right there. This feels like a big one. It's not too big, but Yeah, just another little one, but better than flipping them up, I guess. Oops, All right. Thanks. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> just a little guy. All right. All right, guys, check it out. Number eight on the day right there for the walleye. Another small guy, but we're gonna try to work our way up from here. So let's give him a nice release. Nice. All right, guys, looks like we appear to have another fish on. It's giving, it's, I don't know, it's giving me more head shakes than the walleye. I'm thinking it is a bass too. Oh, yep, smallie. No, small mouth. Second small mouth of the day. I'll probably, uh... yeah, I think I got it. Yep. <laughs> that was odd. When I was catching this fish, a little horn tooted down here. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but hey, nice second smallmouth of the day. I have eight walleye and one catfish. I'm surprised the bass are still in there, but I guess they are. You caught it right off that ledge. It's yeah. All right. I guess we'll get back out there and try to get some more. Alright guys, looks like Dad has a fish on right now. Now this has to be something good because he was definitely he was floating beads. So I'm thinking it's either gonna be some type of trout. I don't know. Hey, have you go over over all day and hey almost took my freaking arm off. Uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. I'm trying to find the bobber when it comes up, but he's just pulling. Feels like a lake, guys. There's the bobber right there. Let's really see him. Yeah, if you don't mind. That looks like a steelhead. I, I just seen a flash of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a nice steelhead right there. coming in for the net. Dad just said he's glad the turbines on or aren't on because he would have been for a been on a much longer ride than this is right now. 
Nice. There you go. First, my that's actually my dad's first steelhead of the year too. Very nice. But we'll have him hold him up for you. Pause on. All right, guys. There we go. My dad's first steelhead of the year right there. Under a good old egg sack. Beautiful fish right there. We're gonna unhook him and let him go. So, you got it, guys. Let's unhook him. All right, guys, gonna give the fish a little revive here. Down in the net. There she goes, man. There we go. How about that? No, nice, thank you. beautiful release there with the good old net job. I think I pulled something in my shoulder, though, because <laughs> it really hurt when I, let, when, I, when I let him down there, but very nice. One for fish. Dan. For my dad, one for my dad, but hey, he's got the first steelhead of the day. I can't say that for myself. I didn't catch any steelhead, so first one from for him of the year. How do you feel about the first one for you? Dude, it was great. Oh, for 10. Oh, for 10. No one caught 10, I caught none. It takes this, almost takes my arm off. I wasn't expecting that. Yep, that was a pretty nice one. That was fun. great. That was absolutely great. So let's get out there and try to catch some more. Oh. Fish. Realized I was recording that bobber down, and it looks like I hooked up to a fish. Nice steelhead, it looks like. Again, on the egg sack. It's about 15 minutes after my dad's right here. Might be running me down a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a real nice steelhead right there. Holy smokes. Oh, yeah. Looks like a nice chromed up steelhead. Ooh, -wee. he's fired up. Oh, yeah. Don't want him to get in that river, right? Oh, just, just came off. Yeah, I think he got a little too far in the river. But hey, that's all right. We got the nice little bobber down on camera, camera at least some of it, and a nice little fight. That was the first steelhead that we hooked all day. Hopefully, uh, hopefully by the end of the day we'll able we'll be able to land one for myself. But I'm still happy with all the fish I caught. So let's keep on fishing and try to get another. There's a fish. Oh man, he ran straight at us. Oh, doggy. Whoa, whoa. Just a little guy, but he's really fired up. Damn. Oh. Oh, no, you're all right. Little guy just got right out of the water. Little Jack? Really? Oh, boy. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. Check it out. My first steelhead of the day. Finally, our target species. Nice little cromer. Let's go let him go. There he goes, there man. Goes. Swam off nice and fine. That was the second steelhead I hooked on the day. I actually got that bobber down too, which is pretty nice. And my GoPro just died as we landed it, so good thing my dad got out the big camera so you could see him. Set the hook, boom, shot out of the water. And the thing is, well, look at this water right here. There's absolutely no, no current. So I was just launching it out maybe 20 yards, floating like 10 feet. And that's how I got those two steelhead to hit. And they're all on egg sacks too, because the water is a little clear, but not too clear. So I think the egg sacks were the way to go today. So we're gonna keep on fishing. See if getting more steelhead or a bigger steelhead than that. There's a fish. Yep. 
there we go guys fish on right here nice bobber down too it's like you're gonna be taking me into the hole this one looks like i might be on a, on a big ride right here holy smokes whoa whoa oh i don't know yet oh yeah come on now i just want to get a look at it yeah it's keeping the bobber real down Big. come on big king oh yeah that might be a king slam that egg sack again though nice You got it, dude. Come on now. I'm gonna put this sucker down soon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a crazy rod bend right here. Most insane rod bend I ever seen in my done life, dude. Here it comes now. Come on now. Come on. Let's get a look at it. Dude, it is a chrome. Hey Noah, I'm gonna 86 the camera, okay? Try to keep him in the slack. Oh, it's a salmon. Yeah, that's a salmon. It's a lake trout. A lake trout. You sure? Yeah, it's a lake trout. Wow. Dang. Not in season, but we're going to land him and try to get the hook out quick for him. Yeah, it's a lake trout, dude. I was not expecting this, dude. I thought that was a salmon for sure. Well, the way it was boring down, I could have guessed it was a lake trout. Not in season until December 1st, I believe. So, Dad's going to net him. Gonna leave him in a net and then lower him down to the water where he's nice and safe. Oh yeah, that's a freaking big lake trout, dude. Hammered the star true speed, or egg sack, I should say. Yeah, man, these lakers just bore down like freaking crazy. He's just digging and digging and digging, and he's not gonna stop. Remember, firefighter, go, 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 firefighter. Just, just, yeah, just keep going. Damn, that's a big one. <laughs> All right, guys. Got to get it in quick. Hold this net right here. I think it's a bigger, dude, that's the biggest lake that you ever caught. Get, get a nice shot of it as I get this hook out of its mouth. Look at that beautiful fish right there. This is the most bizarre day. Of steelhead fish, and I ever had them on grab a Definitely the craziest day of steelhead fishing I ever had. It's crazy, dude. You probably caught every species in the moment <laughs> over here. Summer species. Let's get that bad boy in. December 1st. All right. Let's, let's get them down there, guys. Dude, I thought it was a king all day, and all. That is the heaviest fish I've ever netted. There she goes, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, there she goes, dude. It's sitting on the bottom right there. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there she is. You see that? In the current under her. Wow, oh, guys, right before this fish, too. Right before this fish too, my dad said he's, he's seen a pot of some type of fish. So I decided to throw my little egg sack there and then it'll hook into the lake trout. It wasn't in season, but we got them back nice and quick. 
And I think we are running low on eggs. There's only about three left. In. That's what yeah, we're doing all day. So we're gonna put the rest of those three egg sacks on, and then it's already 12 o'clock, so we've been here maybe around five hours, maybe an hour and an hour to get some lunch. So it's been a fantastic, crazy day of fishing so far. With one of the wildest fishing days I had, species-wise. So I think it's five species out there, which is pretty crazy. So get back up and get some. All right, listen, my, my dad has one all the way in that corner right there. <clears throat> Can't really tell what it is. I'm gonna try to zoom up close to see what it is. That looks like something good. He's really digging down. About to go over there and help him in. What is it? I think it's a laker. It might stand out. What'd you have on there? I just put some bot bots in your Kai Tech. Oh, the Kai Tech? Dang. It's got, it's got some good head. That, you know what? That could be a skill. It's definitely uh, something of substance. I'll try to get it down here. I got some good head pulls. I, I, I bet you some really good. Oh wow. You have my new little river cider with the broken tip. <laughs> yeah, see him taking it down? I'm gonna loosen it up a little or something. Oh well, don't loosen it, don't loosen it. Maybe tighten it one, just one small. That's pretty my forearm is pumping up. What the hell is it? Okay, he's coming in the hole now. No, don't don't reel when he's pulling. Okay. Pull them there. Pull up and reel down. <laughs> you didn't like them pulling up on there. You probably tighten it one click. If it keeps pulling, just tighten it. He's shaking that pretty good. He's underneath the deck. Uh-oh. <laughs> Man, this is a freaking crazy fight right here. My dad says he thinks it might be a lurker, by the way. It's fighting him, but Get ready, though. who knows? He's, 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 he's coming in real easy now. Oh, that's, a, that's salmon. Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna be able to reach it? Yeah, I got it. <coughs> dude, that's a big king right there, dude. That's big. Get over here. That's all right. It's gonna take a while. <coughs> My arm's getting real tired. You may have to take over, dude. Nope. Can't. I can't go over this way. It's coming Come down. Way. I'm, over your, I'm going over your pole. Try to hold him right. Oh, dude, this is, could be the king we've been out after the whole freaking day today. <clears throat> dude, I can't believe it hit the freaking Kai Tech. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Ready, set. Here you go. I'm going to go for it right here. Ready, set. Go. Oh. Oh. Here you go again. Holy smokes, dude. Dude, I actually can't believe he hit the freaking Kai Tech. Let's walk backwards. That's the eggs we needed. For sure. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know it was that fat. Hell yeah. Here you go, guys. All right, check that out. Very nice king salmon for my dad right there. 
this one's going home with us because I could feel the eggs. We're, we're in need, need of eggs, and this one is loaded with them. So that's a beautiful fish right there. And two, the crazy thing, I've never seen this before, but I'll sh let me yeah. show you the bait he caught it on. I never seen this before. Yeah, 12 pound test. And he damn near bent the hook out too of it. Crackhead jigs and lures with a little swim bait on there and he almost bent the hook out, but I was able to clutch that net, net job up right there. This is absolutely the craziest, most bizarre steelhead salmon day of my life. Yeah, it's crazy. So we're gonna keep on fishing and see if we get in there. All right, and that's gonna wrap up the video for today. All in all, I'd say a, a pretty amazing day of fishing. This is by far one of the craziest steelhead slash salmon days we had in a while. First of all, because caught freaking eight walleye, two bass, a freaking surprise catfish, lake trout, steelhead, and a salmon. That's like six species in one day. That has never happened to me before. So this, is, this one's gonna be for the books. So I think that's gonna wrap up the video for today. Hope you guys enjoy it, and see you in the next episode.